today I want to talk about the most important rule, the most basic rule in investing and the most common mistake that most of the investors do that is quite opposite of that rule. So you probably heard to buy low, sell high. And that makes complete sense when you are investing into something, when you're buying something, looking to make a profit, you want to buy it at a low price and sell it at a high price in order to make a profit. But that's on the opposite of how human psyche works. So normally investors, they will look at the price chart and if they see the price going up, they get excited. They think there is a lot of money to make there and it usually correlates with the current news, etc. For instance, the Bitcoin is the best example of that. When the Bitcoin is going up, everybody's talking about it. Right now, the Bitcoin is around 70,000. And a lot of people who don't know about investing are very excited about it. They are talking about it. They can, they have FOMO, fear of missing out. So they see, okay, there was a lot of money made on Bitcoin in the last year or so. They don't want to miss out on this huge bull market. So they go in, they invest at the high prices. On the contrary, when they see the price going down, they think, oh, that's a lousy investment. That's a bad investment. There is no money to be made. If I invest in there, I will lose my money. And both of those are incorrect. Um, you have to look at the fundamentals. With Bitcoin, it's of course a little bit more difficult to look at the fundamentals, but you can try to learn about Bitcoin as a technology. So for instance, you can see how often is a certain code used. For instance, the Ethereum is very commonly used among programmers, uh, among IT guys, because it's a very easy code to write in. So it's very useful in real world. Um, while some other cryptos, they might have very small uh, fundamental value, uh, in which I mean the real world use, the real use um, in reality. With companies, it's much easier to evaluate a company because it reflects the stock price should reflect the real value of the business, right? So you can analyze the whole business, uh, analyze the product, the marketing, whatever, the financial ratios, etc. And based on that, you can make um, the assumption, is it a good place to buy or is it a bad time to buy? So for instance, let's say that we are looking at the company that um, has the price dropping. So the price of the stock of that company is going down. Let's say the price went down 50%. So we cannot say, okay, it went down 50%, so it's cheap. So it's a good place to invest. Well, maybe the company has some real problems. Maybe the sales of the company went down or maybe there was a fire and half of the company burned down. That means that the 50% drop might be a reflection of the reality that the business really got worse by 50%. That's why the stock price dropped 50%. But sometimes I like the example with COVID and Facebook because during the COVID, the beginning of the COVID, there was a crash on the stock market and all of the companies went down, the stock price dropped and even the price of Facebook dropped. Although the usage of Facebook actually went up because everyone was stuck at home. So Facebook actually made more money during COVID, but the price dropped because the, there was a fear on the market. Everybody was fearing the pandemic. So the money was withdrawn from the market. The prices went down while the real value of the business actually went up because the Facebook was doing much better. More people were spending time on Facebook and at the same time, the price was dropping. So that's, I wouldn't call it an anomaly, but that's a good place to buy. And the same can happen uh, the other way. For instance, you can see the price going up all the time without the real business uh, growing so much. 
For instance, there can be some positive news and market can overreact. Maybe the company made a great deal and the sales will go up 10%, but the stock market overreacted and the price went up 30%. So it's really difficult to figure it out. If you don't know anything about how to analyze a business, you are basically in the fog making your decisions uh, based on the price chart. Uh, it's only good if you are doing technical analysis and if you are investing short term. Then it might work uh, by only looking at the price, not um, on the real value of the business. But remember, if you are investing in something like crypto, it can be more difficult to analyze the fundamentals. Just remember, when everybody is buying, when everybody is talking about it, that's not a good place to be in. Currently, we are sitting at 70 uh, US dollars for one Bitcoin. The price is moving horizontally. That can either mean that there is a distribution, meaning that uh, the big guys are selling their positions and keeping the price um, in the horizontal trend, so not going up or not and not going down in order to not scare the smaller investors. But when they sell their positions, the price can, can drop down or it can go up. Nobody knows. It's based on how many people are willing to buy and how many people are willing to sell at that time. But remember, the best time to buy crypto is probably after the 80 or 70% drops that we can see and not after few hundred percent rise in value. Because if you buy um, Bitcoin at 70,000, even if the price doubles to 140, it won't be such a great opportunity. And then if you enter while the price is after a huge, huge drop that mm, happened quite frequently on the crypto market. So remember, stay safe, don't speculate, don't risk your money, make uh, intelligent guesses. Even if you are trying to speculate, remember about the analysis and remember about your emotions. Don't be greedy, risk only the capital that you can risk. And yeah, remember about the fundamental rules of buying low, selling high. Yep, thank you for listening to this episode. If you like my podcast, you can leave it a rating. That would help me a lot. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you for listening.